Hi, everybody. This is Dee Dee Russell with WeddingVenueOwners.com and the Wedding Venue Owners and Managers Community Group on Facebook. Please find us. Um, today, we are with B. Mary. I'm very, very excited about this because this is virtual tours. And anyone who knows me out there or has been following me has been hearing me talk about virtual tours, virtual tours, all things tours online that our venue owners can do. These are so essential in helping our venue owners turn um, leads into bookings. And so I'm so excited to talk to Mary and the Mary team, and we're going to meet them in just a moment, but I want to shout out to some of our um, amazing sponsors that help ensure that educational resources like this can happen for our venue owners. We're so appreciative. So thank you so much to Mop It, uh, Floor Scrubbers, the most popular option in our wedding venue owners group, Ventura. Um, we absolutely love the team over at Ventura helping to make sure that our venue owners are covered with um, insurance for wedding cancellation and event liability. So important. Our friends over at Maru for wedding financing and uh, the Seatco. So um, Be Mary team, you're here today with us and I want to thank you so much for coming and sharing this uh, important tool with us. A lot of venue owners are having trouble with ghosting. They're having trouble with um, really converting leads. And some of them are saying that even their 2023 leads are down and they're really desperate to find solutions. And you guys have been here. Um, you know, providing incredible solutions. Stephanie is joining us today. And Anthony is joining us today. And I'm going to have you two introduce yourselves just a little. And Stephanie, we're going to hear a little bit about your background because you're not just, um, you know, a, a team member, you know, not that being a team member at Mary, <laughs> but, but you have a very specific background that gives you wedding venue expertise. So I'm very yes. interested uh, to introduce you and have you talk a little bit. And then we'll introduce Andrew. Uh, Anthony and I are both on the Be Mary team, on the Mary team here at bemary.com, as Dee Dee mentioned. Um, I am the customer success manager here at Mary, um, making sure that our venues are using the tool um, fully to its full potential, making sure you guys make money um, and helping save time. Um, my background, I used to be a general manager at a venue that onboarded Mary. We used a different platform beforehand and then saw all the benefits within Mary. Um, onboarded them. And then from there, I ended up joining the Mary team, which is great. Um, and a little bit about my background, the venue that I had uh, here in Kansas City, we did about 80 to 100 events a year, but 90% of them were weddings. Uh, and we had we were introduced to Mary uh, through vendors and other planner referrals. So it is word of mouth right now, uh, making sure people know uh, how great Mary is, is, is what we're working on. And I want you guys to know that my role here is all about training and support as well. Uh, so you guys know that once you onboarded Mary and know how to use our tools, we're constantly releasing new features and I'm here to support you and train you and your new team members um, to constantly update you and make sure you know how to use Mary um, to, for success in your venue. And I'm going to let Anthony jump in now as well. Yeah. Anthony, welcome. I, I am uh, way less exciting than Stephanie, but I work with all of our venues on the front side of the equation. Um, I love my job because I get to sit down with venue owners and learn all about their business and what uh, challenges they're trying to solve. Like you said, Didi, we're here to uh, save the day. Um, and so it's fun to get to learn more about what venue owners need to run more successful businesses and connect them with tools that can help them do that. And um, that is exciting because our venue owners do not really want, they don't want to have to learn the technical side of it. So to know that there are resources out there that can help them create a virtual tour and um, data components and um, pieces that help them look their best and sell their wedding venue, even while they're sleeping. I mean, that's very exciting. Our, I know our venue owners are excited. And I know that there are options out there for virtual tours. Some of our venue owners are, you know, walking around with their smartphones. Some are going live. All of those things are great. But a virtual tour and a 360 tour and the program that you all have created, it's a lot more technical and a lot more um, innovative for our younger audience, the audience that's booking weddings, you know, they're, they're a little bit more, you know, they're a little bit more technically hands-on and they want those innovative products that allow them to really see what they're getting into. So I just did the share screen. If you want to show us um, a little bit about the back end and yeah, uh, the technical absolutely. side of Mary. Um, I think you just hit on a really important point before I share my screen. 
Um, the younger generation is very visual. And I would say something that is really important that I notice on a lot of venue websites is missing is just information about what the space looks like. Uh, a lot of people now are doing their research ahead of time. And if they don't see what they're looking for on a website, they often move on. And so um, I'm really passionate about helping venues, whether they choose Mary or not, understand those um, pieces of how they can just get their venue out there and connect with their potential customers a lot easier. There you go. Cool. So now we are looking at Stephanie's old venue, The Guild. Um, here at Mary, um, for a little bit of background, we do a few things. At the very core, we have an event diagramming tool um, to help you with all of the operations around space planning um, and collaborating with your team to pull off events that exceed expectations. Obviously, your goal is to wow your clients, and we want to make sure that you do that. We've also built around that several tools that help you showcase what's possible in your space, which I'll show you in a second, um, and sell the space um, faster, easier, so that you're building more revenue per event and um, hosting more events um, generally. So here in this 2D floor plan, we make it super easy for you to take your venue's inventory drag and drop it out into this space to create a floor plan. Everything we do here is built to scale so that you can answer that really important question of will it fit? Um, and also show your clients who wanna put 50 tables in your, your banquet hall that um, only 30 tables will fit or only 10 tables will fit, um, make that very visual, visual for them. Um, now here in this 2D version, you can also add setup notes um, we have a seating chart feature that integrates um, guest lists uh, so you can easily seat people. And even um, next week, we'll be releasing a new feature that'll allow you to color code seats based on whether Stephanie's eating the chicken, her seat is pink, and Dee Dee's eating the salmon and her seat is green. Um, really tools to save you time and make it easier for executing those events. Um, now, the, the really important piece of what we do, though, is the sales side, and that's kind of why we're here chatting today. Um, everything that we do in Mary is also built in 3D. So um, you can always stay in 2D. In fact, most of our venues um, spend most of their time in 2D because that's how they're planning. But when you want to show to clients, um, we'll wave my magic wand over here and click on 3D everything that you did in 2D automatically renders into 3D. Here's a cue the oohs and ahs. I was um, definitely ooing and aahing, absolutely. <laughs> um, so you can see here, we've landed in a 3D version of the space and you can see all those tables that were set up in 2D. Now this is the view that venues are showing to their clients because it is like a wow factor. You get to show all the details of your space um, and give them a picture of what their event is gonna look like. Um, now, different than a virtual tour, if you have a Matterport or you have just a venue video, um, this 3D space is fully interactive. So I can move tables around, I could get rid of some of these tables. I could even go as far if I wanted to come in here and change the linen colors and the chairs um, to be more specific to what my a uh, couple that I'm talking to wants to see. Um, you can showcase all of those variations really quickly in just a couple of clicks uh, to make that sales process even more personal um, and help sell your space a lot easier. And your upsell items, because you could have a relationship with a local um, event company that has inventory. Maybe if you upsell the ghost chairs, there's a percentage that increases for you. And even if it isn't, it's always great to upsell ghost chairs because if yeah. you get that content <laughs> with those upsell items, the beautiful centerpieces, maybe you have the smaller ones and those come with the venue. Maybe if you do the elaborate ones, you have a better chance of getting published in Martha Stewart, <laughs> which is yeah. always great. So it's nice right. that the, the client can kind of see the variations that you offer and a subtle upsell is is easier to do this way I think yeah you're absolutely right and we have a lot of venues that we work with that have done just that they've been able to increase their revenue per event because they partner with a local rental company and they have these kind of preset packages that they can sell onto the client and then take a cut off the top I'll show you here um Kind of how they would do that we have a few different versions built out and this is really helpful 
um, both to show different layout options and to show some of the upsells because I can usually say, all right, here's what it would look like with the long family style rectangles. Or if we were going to move your ceremony indoors because it's raining, here's what the indoor ceremony could look like. Um, you can just help your clients make decisions a lot faster. And to Didi's point, do those upsells. Um, we even had a bunch of venues, especially if you're on the more like DIY couple side of things, offer this as an upsell um, access to Mary to come in and actually plan out their event because they do have access to some unique design tools and things that would allow them to create an event um, that otherwise they might have needed a planner to pull together. Um, cool. So we've looked at the some of the time-saving operational pieces. We've looked at some of the powerful sales tools. Um, the last thing that I want to touch on is collaboration. That's the other kind of like the third pillar, if you will, of um, Mary's superpowers here is that we allow you to collaborate really easily. Um, I talk to a lot of venues and I think one of the biggest headaches people have are sending different versions back and forth via email. Maybe you have a Microsoft Word document and the planner has a PDF and you've got all these different things floating around. Uh, we built Mary so that you can collaborate with everybody who is involved in this event, whether it's the couple, the planner, vendors, et cetera. Everybody can be invited and edit this um, event just like a Google Doc. Um, if you don't want people to edit, that is all right too. Uh, you can restrict people to a view only access and there's a few ways to share. Um, you can export everything to a PDF here. Um, you can pick and choose what you want, but lots of options there. Or we also give you the option to create this customized client dashboard. This is something that you can share just via a link so they can access it on the web anywhere they are. Um, and you can add customized notes. You could customize with your logo and photos of your venue up here. And then anything that you created in that floor plan for them. So let's say they did a on-site tour and you talked about the types of linens or chairs that they might want, you can customize that. And then you can pull in these 3D visuals directly from Mary and send this out to them to remind them of, hey, we talked about your event. Um, here's what it could look like if you hosted at the Guild. And here's the 2D version, um, et cetera. The, um, so that's a, a main way that our venues are sharing with their clients. Um, the last way to share is really all about how you can sell your space while you're sleeping or while you're on vacation, um, or really go back to that point that we made at the beginning of letting your potential clients explore on their own and do that research before they ever even come to you. So they um, are a bit farther down the funnel or a more informed buyer with a little bit higher intent. I've got an example pulled up here of one of our venue partners, Stoneburner in Seattle, you'll see that they've added this kind of explore the space spot on their website that instructs people to take a virtual tour. Um, if I click there, it's gonna pop me into Mary, gives the um, client a few instructions, and then they're able to actually look at different versions that you've personally set up. So. Stoneburner, for example, has set up a few different layout options that they can explore. So I can go ahead and see what a ceremony for 100 would look like. All my furniture comes in. And then I can flip through to see what the dinner option might look like if I had 50 versus 100. And as the client, as a reminder, this is the client view. I have access during my session here to move tables around and Let's say I wanted to add in a cake table over here and I'll delete this one. The client can kind of customize for themselves. This is a, a one-time only, so they're not messing it up for anybody else, but this gives them the option to play around and explore in your space on their own time, um, which is a really powerful tool for venues. Absolutely, it just occurred to me that some of the problems a venue has with logistics can be resolved with one of these options. And that is that a lot of couples want that 150 or 250 wedding, but they have a 50 to 80 person budget. Um, and they assume my room is going to look so empty. The space will look so empty. 
showing them how beautiful 50 looks in this space could really change their mind on really getting out of those numbers and looking at the space as opposed to being so obsessed with numbers. But in the past, all we've had was numbers on paper and thinking about that. Now we can kind of see how beautiful a wedding for 50 would look in a space like this. Yeah, absolutely. And we also have some tools, uh, if I come back here in the guild, um, like our pipe and drape tool that allow you to even drape off sections of the room. So if you want to show how they could make it a more intimate gathering or do things like that, um, lots of tools to help there. And to also speak to the numbers, um, Anthony, the seats at the top, if you want to circle that, um, we also put in place some room rules when creating your venue so that clients or uh, planners who are operating within the uh, 3D Mary site, they can't add, you know, 400 chairs or try to squeeze in 50 tables that won't fit. Um, and it'll also cause this error that Anthony's showing, the tables turn red. So we know we can't place tables back to back with two inches um, in between. Obviously that won't work. So um, it is customizable uh, to your own rules as well. And I love yeah. that. Now our venue owners don't have to worry that something like this gives too much um, in, input from the client who is not an expert on the space. All mm -hmm. of those rules. And you can see how, how user-friendly the format is. It's so easy to use. You guys have really thought of a lot of those elements that would frustrate um, mm -hmm. a venue owner. And I think that's definitely has to do a lot with Stephanie being previously with a venue and in venue management and understanding what it's like to flip a room and what yep. it's like to have bruises from, <laughs> from hip to ankle, from flipping rooms and dealing with weddings and managing weddings. And that's just on the day of a wedding. That's not even, yeah. you know, throughout the whole planning time. So programs like this, I, I mentioned, you know, we had one venue owner quote that we're really selling time and space. And it's true. A venue owner's time is so valuable. It's what can lead to a venue owner burning out. It's what can lead to a venue owner not enjoying what they do. It also can lead to a venue owner not being their 100% awesome self for upcoming weddings. So anything our venue owners can do, any tools that I come across that can help them alleviate that wasted time um, is, is amazing. And that's why I love, that's why I'm so excited about virtual tours. And I would really encourage every venue owner out there, get a virtual tour on your website. You, you really need one. Go through your market and look and see there, there are not a lot of them on there. This is really going to help you stand out, but you also don't want to be one of the few that doesn't have a virtual tour. And you know, what used to look okay on a website will not be the case anymore. As our couples get more and more used to other venues offering a virtual tour, you not offering a virtual tour might give the impression of not being authentic, of something to hide, of maybe not being what you say you are. You know, people, couples are really getting used to being able to have a virtual tour ever since COVID, virtual everything. So you really need to think about how you're representing all the time when clients come to the website to see that virtual experience. A picture is not enough. A picture is definitely not a virtual tour. And, you know, not having that element on there is absolutely losing some of your, um, your bookings now. But even as we go every single day, as we go forward and other venues are adding these features, you're getting further and further behind. So really think about what you can do. And um, Anthony, you have, you know, maybe a little something special to share with our venue owners group. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one thing before I forget it, you were talking a little bit about saving time and some of the headaches that venue owners go through. And I was laughing to myself because maybe the biggest one that I hear from venues that bring Mary on board is that they no longer have to deal with that couple that wants to come to the venue every single day, or they want to bring their mom or their grandma or their aunt, um, they can now just share with them an easy, interactive, virtual space um, for them to spend all the time they want in without having to, to stop by. Um, that and ghosting, the, yeah. those, those things are <laughs> tremendously reduced when you're Absolutely. using tools like this. I mean, it is an incredibly powerful converting tool. It's giving you, the venue owner, time back um, it's supporting your team. It's supporting your sales. But yeah, you you don't want it to go to your venue 45 minutes away from your home or just on a Saturday when you could be with your family and you get ghosted. And, you know, we don't have exact stats to share, but I know in real estate, the number is somewhere about 70 percent less ghosting when you use virtual tours, 70 yeah. percent less. 
It's crazy. So yeah, we do. Um, we're really excited to be partnering with DD and the wedding venue owners community. We have a really exciting offer for any wedding venue owner community members that want to join Mary and get this implemented in your venue. Uh, it's too good to share uh, out loud for everybody. So um, would love to have a conversation, learn more about your venue and some of the challenges that you have to see if there would be a good fit for, for Mary at your venue. And we can talk a little bit about that offer. Um, if you want to learn more, you can visit us online at bmary.com uh, or you can reach out to me. My email is just aj at bmary.com or you can email venues at bmary.com. Lots of options to get in touch, um, but we'd love to meet uh, all sorts of venue owners and chat about how we could help you out. Yes, go go to bmary.com, B-E-M-E-R-R-I.com. Look at what they have to offer, see their features, contact Anthony or Stephanie, and we'll um, make sure you get all the details you need for what it is like to be onboarded, what the onboarding process is, um, all of the, you know, things that you can expect when you add a Be Merry virtual tour to your website. How long does it take? All of those good questions that we couldn't get to in one video, but don't worry. <laughs> I have a feeling that Anthony and Stephanie are going to be back with us talking about more things, sharing how their Absolutely. venue owners are promoting and marketing this tool, how they're using it on their website, some of the brilliant things that venues come up with. And maybe we'll see them again in our seven day uh, social media marketing guide. You know, the guide yes. that we send out to help venue owners with their social media because I love linking a virtual tour as your social media content because you could then promote and advertise those links and promote and advertise those visuals and um, everyone loves to see virtual tour they're like hey it's like sweatpants o'clock at my house I don't want to <laughs> drive in traffic um, I got to tell you you venues that are further outside the city I mean the conversion I can't wait till we start to get more numbers on how this helps venues convert. A lot of you are 30, 40, 45 minutes, an hour outside the city, and you want to go from 20 weddings this year to 40 next year. You know, this is such a great tool. Tell them you don't have to come out. Here's a virtual tour. Look at this first. If you fall in love with this, just wait till you see it in person. But this is definitely going to be, a, a, you know, a a tool for you to convert more in so many ways. So we need more videos. We need more information. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Stephanie, I want to thank you guys so much yes. for being with us today. Stephanie yeah, thanks and for Anthony and the information. Thank you, Didi. And I'm excited to see our venue owners. They've been buzzing about you all in the wedding venue Good. owners awesome. managers group. And we had a couple chime in and say how much they love Be Merry. And that is unsolicited. I post about uh, you know <laughs> virtual tours and different things that our venue owners should be looking into for education purposes and for some of them to chime in and say that they love and trust this product that they're using Be Merry and that they're thrilled with it. I mean, that's awesome. That's we love to hear it. <laughs> like Stephanie said, that's how her venue came on board. We um, really rely on all of our existing venues and other clients to to spread the good word. Um, so really happy yes. to hear that. All right, guys. Well, I, I appreciate your time today. I can't wait to see more in the future. Venue owners can go to b b e m e r r i dot com, bmary dot com. I will put all the information and in the links at the end. Um, and I'm just so excited to see more virtual tours on your wedding venues. Compile the data. Tell us how it's doing. Ask us questions. If you have questions for Stephanie and Anthony, let us know. We'll uh, send those questions out and maybe we'll get them back um, to do some more videos with us and show us so many more ways and uses um, for our venue owners to really use this to save time and money and sell your venue while you're sleeping. <laughs> I like that. Perfect. Tagline.